We'll be comparing Shopify Inbox to Tidio so you can decide what's the best fit for your store as both apps offer similar features. And for the comparison, we'll be taking a look at the overall benefits of each as well as the pricing and reviews and going into the apps to see what they look like and how the UI functions. So first, let's take a look at Shopify Inbox. So this is an app developed by Shopify and one of the best things about it is that it's completely free. So if you're a new Shopify store and you're not having a lot of customer conversations, you don't need more advanced features, this is most likely going to be a really good fit for you. It makes it super easy to turn on a chat and check results, manage all your messages in a unified inbox, and it makes it super easy to get started. I have a complete tutorial on how to set it up on my channel, so if you're curious about that, make sure you check it out. It has many features that make it easy to use as well, from quick replies, which you can create, as well as instant answers, so customers can find what they're looking for super quickly. One feature I really like about the app is that it has an automated reply feature, so whenever a customer sends you a message, let's say it's outside of your business hours, it's going to let them know that you are outside your business hours and you're going to respond in X amount of time. Overall, this app is pretty well reviewed. It has a 4.7 stars with almost 3,000 five-star reviews, and merchants appreciate this app for its centralized customer communication features, including real-time messaging and mobile accessibility. And so it does have a mobile app, which you can download on both iOS and Android. It also has desktop push notifications, and these are all going to let you know when customers are messaging you. In terms of the UI, if we take a look at it here on the bottom right, it's essentially a chat bubble that you can open, and it makes it super easy to send a message. There's also the instant answers as discussed. So if I were to click on these, it's going to instantly respond with the correct information. I could then continue the chat there and I'm going to have to enter in my contact information so that person could be reached later. And it's also going to send a transcript of the chat. In terms of the inbox, it's very easy to use and you can see which are open, closed and what are assigned to you. So now that we've taken a look at Shopify inbox, let's take a look at Tidio. So overall, I would say this app is very similar to Shopify Inbox, but it's going to have quite a few more features. One of them is an AI support chatbot for growing businesses. It's called Lyro, and it's going to help answer a lot of conversational customer questions and help customers get really quick responses. It's also going to integrate with quite a few applications from Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messages, WhatsApp, and email. So you can get all of that in a unified inbox. It's also going to have different automations that you can set up. We can look at the example here. I also did a complete tutorial on this on how to set these up. We can see a customer visits and clicks on the chat icon. It's going to decide on a quick reply, such as checking the order status, sending a chat message, sending them another quick reply, asking a follow-up question. And so it can automate quite a few things that someone might have to do manually. And it's going to integrate with Quite a few different platforms from Mailchimp, WordPress, Klaviyo, and more. In terms of pricing for this app, they have a completely free plan with 50 conversations in the live chat and the chatbot can have up to 100 visitors per month. You're also going to get ticketing, a mobile app, and social media integrations. Pricing starts at $29 a month and it goes up to $39 a month. And on the top two plans, you're not going to get any branding. And you're going to get things such as website scraping and Lyro tasks. And Lyro looks to be their AI bot here. In terms of reviews, it's also rated very well with 4.6 stars and 1.6 thousand five-star reviews. And merchants highly recommend this app for its user-friendly interface, robust functionality, and excellent customer support. In terms of the chat widget itself, if we take a look at the example, we can see it in the bottom right here. Again, it has a welcome message. I could say track my order. And it's going to give me some different options, such as using my email address or order ID. And overall, it's going to help get quite a few of those initial questions out of the way so the customer can actually be helped. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where our sponsor ProfitCalc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can see how profitable you are in just one click. It's going to give you your revenue, cost of goods sold, transaction fees, all your ad spend from all your different accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, as well as your transaction fees and any other monthly expenses. It's going to break everything down into an easy to understand dashboard with tons of analytics and metrics so you can start making smarter business decisions. There's a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself and you can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here 
there's also a link in the description below that will bring you to the Shopify app listing. So make sure you check that out and start your 15 day free trial. So in conclusion here, for the comparison between the two apps, I think they're really meant for two different types of Shopify stores. I think Shopify Inbox is definitely the more appealing option if you're just starting out. For one, it's completely free, so there's no reoccurring pricing there, and it has a lot of the features you're going to need out of the gate. Whereas I think Tidio is an app you might want to upgrade to if you're getting quite a bit of message volume, as it has different automations, such as the Lyro chatbot. It also has different flows you can set up to help get the correct response out of a customer to find out exactly what they're looking for. It's going to integrate with quite a few different apps, and it's also going to have a unified inbox for more than just the live chat. Both apps are extremely well reviewed and popular with the merchants that use them. So based on that alone, it's hard to go wrong here. And both are really good apps, no matter which one you choose. Again, I have videos from both on how to set them up and complete tutorials. So make sure you check that out on the channel if you're interested in either one of them. Let me know in the comments which one you're planning to use. But overall, this concludes the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it and this helped, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions as well, leave a comment. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.